Andrew Raphael. And now he's sculptor in the United States of America, a Mr. Peter Mazel, to remember a lady who, during her life, said some rather extraordinary things. I've got a terrible feeling we're going to hit some of them again now. In fact, I'm sure we are. I'm sure I don't have to tell you. But Mr. Peter Mazel is going to remember the one and only May West. <laughs> I suppose you think it's some fun being a sex symbol over in Hollywood. Well, May's here to tell you it's not. Only last week I had the worst experience. I left my apartment at the Royal Oak. <laughs> Walking down Tamer Street. <laughs> because I had a dinner engagement with my agent, Sam. Well, there I was walking along there and I heard this man going, I said, I'm certainly not, I've hardly had a drink. <laughs> he said, no, what I mean is, how about a bit on the side? I said, why, have they moved it. <laughs> no sense of direction, you know what I mean? Well, I got to my car, I was getting in the limousine, and my chauffeur said to me, excuse me, Miss West, you got a ladder in your stocking. I said, oh, heavens above. He said, I know that, Miss West, but I'm on duty at the moment. <laughs> he had a sense of direction. So, so we got to Sam's place. I was getting out of the car. And I dropped the beautiful diamond watch that Sam had given me for my birthday. Oh, I knew he'd be upset. Just handy was the shop with a lot of watches in the window. I went inside the shop. I said to the young man, young man, I want you to fix my watch. He said, I'm sorry, ma'am, we don't fix watches, we castrate cats. <laughs> I said, if you castrate cats, why the hell you got all those watches in the window? He said, madam, what would you put in there? <laughs> Probably roll out anyhow. I got up to Sam's apartment. I knocked on the door, he opened the door, he said, May, you're not looking too happy. I said, Sam, you're looking at one unhappy woman. He said, what's the trouble, kid? I said, it's that latest lover of mine, he's just walked out of my life. He said, don't worry, honey, there's plenty more fish in the sea. I said, I know that, Sam, but my bait's not as fresh as it used to be. <laughs> Nothing that's fair. I had to go off in the end. He said, don't worry, honey, your luck's gonna change, I lived it. I got back to my apartment, I'd been back there 10 minutes and there was a knock on the door. Oh. I opened the door and there was this hunk of a man. Six feet eight inches. I wasn't worried about the six feet, if you know what I mean. <laughs> he was carrying one dozen beautiful red roses. Oh, I said, come and sign your man. He came in, I took the roses. I closed the door. Locked it. I got all my gear off. Laid down on the sofa. I said, honey, this is for those beautiful roses. He said, don't be so silly, May. You must have a vase around the place somewhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no wonder I keep saying, oh. <laughs> well, they're such thorny little things. <laughs> you girls, I slept well that night. <laughs> Apart from one very strange dream, I dreamt I met this man from Mars. Oh, and was he something else? He had seven heads, seven arms, seven legs. <laughs> but he had just Oh, one of those things. <laughs> I couldn't have been more disappointed, I'm here to tell you. I'll see you later.